Hello, this is Brandon Joseph live in London. We're joined by Nina for Croatia. How are you? Well, I'm excited because this is my second time in London, but first time because of the Eurovision Song Contest. What inspired you to enter for Croatia this year? Oh, well, lots of things. If you're asking me about the song, the song is really uh, about the... It's a great message of hope, you know, and I think it really suits the time and everybody can feel the song in a different way and um, I think it's really great. Uh, it's you've my done, subjective opinion. <laughs> you've done incredibly well in the betting odds for your song and with fan approval as well. How did you feel that you're having such a huge support for your entry this year? Oh, well, you know, the Croatia is a really small country, so it's a really big deal for us uh, to do something uh, enormous like this, because somebody told me, uh, I don't know, four years ago that 200 million people are watching the Eurovision now. Uh, so I'm pretty excited and I'm going to do the best job that I can to, to, to represent Croatia. Way. And finally, can you give a message to all your fans, both in Europe and across the world? Of course. Oh, uh, well, hello. <laughs> I'm in the crowd representing Croatia on the Eurovision Song Contest in Stockholm. And please support us and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, watch us in the first semifinals. Nina, thank you very much. Thank you.